Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I have an unboxing for you of a new to me company and that is Craft Ease. They sell uh, licensed artwork. Uh, as you can see, artists created by independent hardworking artists with each order use place, you support an artist. Um, and you get in this box, the canvas, the diamonds, the tray, two pins with maybe a multi-placer judging from the picture, tweezers, and two plates of wax. So I will say uh, this will be the magic of YouTube. I actually filmed this unboxing once already and uh, I don't know what happened but I had a lot of weird shadows and the audio was bad so this is take two. So here we go again. Uh, this is my canvas from uh, Crafties. So because I've already taken it out of the box, um, it comes in a regular plastic sleeve just like most of them do. I'm going to roll the canvas here. It's been rolled up. So I'm going to um, roll it a little bit so it will lay a little bit flatter. And you can see the drills are already out of their little package because I've unboxed it. But here we go again. So in their kit, you get a white boat, two large plates of wax, you get uh, one pin with a three-placer multi-placer and one pin with a six-placer multi-placer. You get two scrunchies and some of the um, steel tweezers. So that's what comes in the box. Now this one, I debated whether or not to get this one because when I saw it, on their website it looked like it would be too pixelated for the size and so I, I hesitated and then I saw someone else open it on their channel and I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and take the chance it's cute and I want to see what crafties is like so here is and it's upside down let me put it this way here is the painting it's called a uh, licornet and I don't remember the artist's name, but I will put a link in the description down below so you can find it. And it is this adorable little girl with her adorable little unicorn and some butterflies and some fun flowers. And it's all these kind of cotton candy pastel colors. And I just thought it was adorable. So it is a 40 by 50. And let me see if you can see the thumbnail here get it to focus just this really kind of little whimsical colorful pastel delight uh, so it's a 40 by 50 there are 29 colors and I'm guessing from the blue here that means those are going to be a B's um, so let's see what is a oh a is part of her hair and also some on her dress and some on the flowers and there's some on the unicorn oh and his little muzzle is a's and then x is also her hair some more flowers and some more flowers over here on the bottom so cute little a b's 29 colors um let's see it is poured glue it is super sticky i do need to replace pull up and, and put this cover sheet down again because it's got so many wrinkles in it. Not that there are wrinkles in the canvas, just that the cover sheet has wrinkles. So I always hesitate to do that on camera because it's so noisy. So that's all it takes to get the wrinkles out. It's not actually wrinkles in the canvas. But let's look at our drills. Oh, and I guess they're not ABs, they're rhinestones, but we'll get to that. Okay. Where is this the beginning? Number one. Okay. So it doesn't look like it has the DMC code on the bags, but it does have the DMC code on the schematic. So that's good. So this is a round drill. So hopefully this one won't take me very long. You've got this blue, a light gray. Is that the same? Yes, those are both three, so the same shade of purple. There's a lot of purple in the trees. There's a light purple. 
just a teeny tiny bit of black and that's mostly around their eyes there's a pretty kind of cornflower blue and then like a kind of gray blue and there's that kind of pastel sea green mint green this beautiful bubblegum pink color the cotton candy pink color that I love so much and there is our first crystals um, that's number 10 so that's going to be in her hair and then some dark blue are those both 11 yes those are both 11 and then a uh, just kind of a royal blue, a lighter blue, and then some peach. And let me get the other drills so we can go through these. So then we've got, that's the end of it. Let me start at the other end. Then we've got this kind of sea foam green again, a dark green. A lighter green there's our second rhinestone that is going to be in her hair and on the unicorn's belly and on his muzzle and kind of a peachy color kind of a magenta some more pretty pinks just a regular pink and then a light pink like a blush pink and some more kind of blue green another pink, some more mint green, some kind of yellow orange, some mustard colored, some blue or some blue, some purple. Those are both 28. So both of those are the same color. And then finally some more green. So there's all the colors. Amazing. And it doesn't look to me from looking at the schematic like it will have, um, I will have any trouble kind of seeing what the symbols are and just peeling back the canvas here and looking at the canvas, the symbols are so clear. If I can get that close enough that it focuses for you guys. Um, so clear. Don't think I'll have any problems whatsoever seeing that. Went the wrong way. And it is listed by a, as a 40 by 50. So let's see if it actually is a 40 by 50. So that is 49 and three quarters by 39 and three quarters. So just a little bit shy of the 40 by 50, but not by much. So pretty true to the canvas size. Um, and yeah, like I said, I will put a link in the description below, uh, but this is my first craft E, so I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing how it turns out. And I just thought this was such a cute little whimsical, adorable painting. Um, this would be good maybe to hang up in like a baby's room or something even. I just love all the pastel colors. So hopefully it will work up fairly quickly. Um, I do have other projects that I want to get working on, but this was just so cute. I couldn't resist it and I couldn't resist trying out Crafty. So yeah. So there you have it. Le Cornette by Crafties. And again, I'll put a link to this in the description down below so you can check this one out or any of their other kits that might interest you. And as always on your way out, guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads like this adorable cuteness. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.